For the final video in this series, I will put together cover and note sheets. I will also insert a sheet list table referencing all of the sheets in the plan set. And finally, I will plot the final plan set. Start by opening a drawing from our template styles. Save the drawing to the sheets folder of the project folder. Type DWG props into the command line. Copy the drawing name from the general tab and paste it into the title space on the summary tab. Click OK. Save your drawing. Now right click the layout tab on the bottom left hand side. Click from template. Navigate to the sheets template for the project. Select it, then click open. From the insert layouts pop-up, control click cover in notes to import these sheets into your drawing. Click OK. Right click the layout one tab and click delete. Click OK. To better organize our drawing, drag the notes tab so that it is to the right of the cover tab. Save your drawing. To remove the image frame from around the logo, type image frame into the command line. Now press 1, press enter. Type image frame into the command line one more time, type 0, then press enter again. Open the sheet set manager by typing SSM into the command line. Click the drop down in the sheet set manager, select and click open. Navigate to where your sheet set manager is saved, select it, then click open. Now select the cover and notes tabs by shift or control clicking the tabs. Drag them over into the sheet set into their proper subsection. Click Import Checked. Now we are going to start adjusting the cover sheet for the plan set. For this example, I delete a few of the reference frames from the template and import our key map. To import the key map, type XREF into the command line. From the drop down on the first icon, click Attach Drawing. Now navigate to the key map drawing. Click Open. In the attached external reference pop up, make sure the reference type is set to overlay. Path type is set to relative. Make sure the scale checkbox is unchecked. Set the X and Y scales to 0.0025. Make sure the insertion point checkbox is checked. Click OK. Now click on the cover sheet where you want the key map to display. Scale and adjust the position of the key map on your cover page so that it displays the way that you want it to. Once the key map is laid out the way you want it, we can clip out any additional information from the XREF that we don't need to display on the cover sheet. Type XC into the command line to initiate the XREF clip option. Click New Boundary, now click Polygonal. Sketch the boundary around the XREF key map. To make sure our lat long multiliter labels appear in front of the key map, select them, then right click. Click Display Order, now click Ring to Front. Move the multiliters so that they are pointing to the upstream and downstream ends of the project reach. Now I'm going to import a vicinity map that I created in a GIS application. Type map I insert into the command line. Navigate to the vicinity image, click it, then click open. Click OK. Now scale and position the vicinity image so that it appears the way you want it on the cover page. To number the sheets, open the sheet set manager by typing SSM into the command line. Right click the first sheet, click rename and renumber. Type the number into the number box, click next and renumber the next sheet. This will only work inside each subset. You will need to follow the same procedure for each of the subsets. To change the rest of the dynamic fields in the sheet set, right click the project name in the sheet set manager. Click properties. From here, adjust all of the sheet set custom properties that have been set up for this template. Click OK. To generate a sheet list table to insert onto the cover sheet, click the first subset, then shift click the last subset. Right click, then click insert sheet list table. From the sheet list table pop-up, choose the table style and the fields to be included. Click OK. Now click the cover sheet where you want to insert the table. Adjust the cover sheet so that everything looks the way that you want it to be plotted. Now I'm going to add labels to the key map to show what sheet each of the view frames is referencing in the plan set. Type mText into the command line. Click to place the mText box. Now type sheet into the mText box. Right click in the mText box and select insert field. From the field pop-up, navigate to and click Sheet Set. Expand the sheet navigation tree to find the appropriate sheet. Select it, then in the property box, click Sheet Number. Click OK. Adjust the properties of the M text box so that it is visible and looks the way you want it on the cover sheet. Turn off all of the layers except for the view frame layer on the XREF. This will make it easier to see what you are doing. Now place the M text box in the center of the view frame. For this example, I use a guideline for the placement. Rotate the M text box to be in line with the view frame. Copy the M text box and continue this process for all of the sheets. 
Once you have the new M text box placed, simply double click the dynamic text to open the field pop up and adjust what sheet the dynamic text is referencing. Continue this process until all the view frames are referencing the appropriate sheets. After everything has been labeled, remember to go back and delete the guidelines. Now in the Layer Manager, unfreeze all of the layers and the XREF key map. To complete the Notes sheet, click on the Notes tab. For this example, we are simply going to paste text that we already have generated into the Notes sheet. Now label the cover and note sheets like we have done in previous videos. With everything labeled and numbered, now I'm going to update the sheet list table. Click the cover tab. Now click on the sheet list table. Right click, then click update table data links. With all of the drawings that are associated with this plan set saved and the sheet list table updated, we are ready to plot the plan set. From the sheet set manager, click the top subset. Now shift click to the final subset. Right click, then click Publish, now click Publish to PDF. Navigate to where you want to save the PDF. For this example, we are saving the file to the PDF folder under C3D and the Project folder. Name the file, then click Select. Now wait for Civil 3D to finish plotting the sheets. This process can take some time depending on how fast your computer is, how big your drawings are, and how your drawings are set up. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Now you can open the PDF and review the plan set. Once you are satisfied with the plans, save a reduced size PDF copy of the plan set. It is now ready for distribution. Thank you for watching.